Subscribe to our YouTube Club 520. Uh, we clowning on that mother. Just hit the button. <laughs> God. Don't ask more questions. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, we back. Another episode of Club 520 Podcast. I'm the host. My name is DJ Well. Special guest to my left. We're going to introduce my man's last, but to my far left, my dog, Bishop, be here out the prairies. My how you what? Cool and nasty. Let's get to it, baby. Hey, you know, it's always going to be a sick episode when you got the hoodie on. People don't know that ain't really your swag. Yeah, it's like my much, swag. Man. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Friday. No, Thursday, February <laughs> 15th. Celebrity game hosted by Club 520 and Isador. Mm. Featuring a bunch of celebrities from, you know, around the country and shit. Then we got the following after party at All Stars Bar and Grill. Pull up on us. Ticket links are in bio now. What kind of party is it at? Maybe. Uh, it's a freaky party. <laughs> freaky Mike. Freaky Mike. <laughs> Live on set. He'll be there with the camera. Shout out to all the IG girls coming in. I won't say who flying them in, but... They'll be there. My job, Young Nacho, Young T, how you what, man? man? I'm chilling, man. We got my guy in the building, man. Hey, but... you got to introduce him, man. You know what I'm saying? That was your real. You nah, gotta... I'm going to let you do your job, but... Uh... Oh, I see looking niggas. Yeah, I got these by the door, man. I forgot to wear my phone once again. My bad, y'all. I've been coming for practice, so don't judge me. So it's just What's over with the phones, basically. Yeah, I'll bring them back one time. I, I got a couple more left. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> they going to be pissed. Hey, but fuck them. My... <laughs> fuck them. But to my left, a dog... NBA going crazy. I like the one thing I like about seeing him is like I saw him when he was on your team in Minnesota, yeah. and like to see him now in a row, and especially you on the cheating ass team now, man, doing your thing. You just see you on the internet last week catching bodies. Jo, Josh Chicago, appreciate you pulling up to five twenty, my boy. Thanks for having me, y'all. Man, y'all see bro. my boy he got Rolexes and shit. I remember when he was a young buck. That motherfucker <laughs> would leave his apartment. Now look at him. <laughs> that boy shining. You was trying out the studio rookie year. Nah, I picked the studio up this summer, bro. Yeah, oh, man. But I, I, I for sure wouldn't leave my apartment. Teague actually got me. You out the league now, so I, I kind of said, Oh, uh, yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free game, right? You actually the one who got me out my apartment, bro. We had a thing. I think it was my second year in the league. We had a thing, like, you know what I'm saying? We was, it wasn't that good. <laughs> oh, trust me. I think we had, Minnesota like, a, doesn't like me. I we had, like, a 14-game losing streak. <laughs> 12 game losing streak in the same season. It was just, it was just bad. Damn. Bad time. Minnesota Pistons. Ooh. Nah, it wasn't that bad. bad. No. <laughs> no, no, they no, broke no, 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 no. They broke it up. No, no, no. And, and they broke it up in the middle of that season. Yeah. We weren't the Pistons. Yeah. We weren't the Pistons, though. Like, we would, our problem was we would be good. We just couldn't finish games, bro. Yeah. We just Thanks. couldn't finish games. But, um, so T used to, used to go out. And I ain't never really, you know, been out. So he's like, one day he was like, you know, J.O., I'm going to take you out, man. I'm like, all right, cool. Took me out, you know, we had a good time. And then like every city, this shit be so funny. I used to sit in the back, Teague sit in, sit in the front. He'll be like, J-O! <laughs> and he'll turn and look at me like this. And I'll put my head in the uh, in the aisle. And we just give each, give each other that look, pause. And then he'll just do this. And that's how I know. I'm just waiting for his text, but where we at tonight, bro? <laughs> Hey, why? That was some time ago. <laughs> I don't do that no more. Well, that boy. <laughs> now nah, we were sad, though. Like what we said, you know what I mean? We had to have some type of fun, bro. We was terrible. I mean, no, it wasn't no crazy. Like, we was around a whole bunch of feet. I'm not saying all that. We, nah, we but we was outside. We, we was yeah, outside. we find a spot. The funniest one, though, when we landed in te uh, Houston one night, and the OVO plane was outside. <laughs> 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 Team looked back. My head already in the eye. I'm on that <laughs> You know we outside. Oh, man, we saw saw that play. I'm already like, I'm already looking up front, waiting for this nigga to turn around. And pause. I was like, hey, yeah, we outside. Oh, uh, you already know OVO play right there. Oh, <laughs> shit, play poppy somewhere. We go be there. But show sure. without the outside. Man, was what? Up. we was outside. Nice. Jo, Bro, we already started the show with a fried question for you. know What I'm saying since you've been spent some time in the league. Okay. What's the craziest thing or like the craziest moment you've been a part of the NBA so far? Man, been a part of a lot of crazy moments. Um, You've definitely been on some two nice teams. Uh, man, I think there's two of them. One was when I when I got drafted with the Jimmy. Jimmy that was a crazy situation. That was just messy. Yeah. Like, as soon as I I just got I just got in, in you walk into in the middle in the middle of it, and then I feel like last year when we uh we got Katie that was crazy too. 
Because I was trying to make sure I was still on the team. <laughs> <laughs> he was looking at that play. Like, Man. I don't want to be in this train. Because, you, know, you know, when Woj's tweet is just like one tweet, like yeah. Phoenix Suns acquire mm-hmm. Kevin Durant. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm, who who the other team acquiring, though? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So those two moments, I would say, like, they were, like, one of the biggest moments. Dang, that's crazy. That's the, you started your, your rookie year in Minnesota. How was that the first time y'all linked up? Because you was already there, obviously. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy because I remember Tibbs. Tibbs was my dog. He know me and Tibbs was tight. So when we was doing the draft process, I seen him play at Georgia Tech, and I seen the other rookie, which was Kata. They was debating on picking him or Kata at that spot. And I'm like, luckily we end up getting both. But I was like, nah, that nigga play hard. That's you, Tibbs. And he was like, yeah, motherfucker run through a wall. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> so I knew he was getting picked. So when I came there, I was already hyped to know him, like, play, because I knew who he was, watched him play, because me and Tibbs was looking at film over him. So I was like, came, introduced myself, and he was real cool. It's cool as shit. That's what's up, bro. I want to take it back to the beginning, though, bro. Mm-hmm. When did you come back, or when did you move to the States from Lagos? Like, how much time did you uh, Yeah, I was there? born in, you know, Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, I moved to the States when I was three. Oh, uh, you ain't spent yeah. that much time. I ain't spent too. I don't even remember. I don't even remember. But I've been back a couple of times, so I know who's who when it comes to, like, extended family and kind of around the cities and stuff. But being born there, I don't I don't remember. Are you tapped into the Afro B world? A thousand percent. Who your favorite artist, bro? Uh, my favorite artist is Asha Ken. I ain't heard of that. <laughs> You got to, bro. He probably, he was the most, he was number one in Afrobeats last year. Like, most listened to. For real? Like, Nigerian. Who do you think got it cracking so far as, like, the blend from Nigeria to the States, though, to the U.S.? Like, was it WizKid? Was it, who got that merge going? Like You got to go WizKid. And the reason why I say WizKid is because WizKid been in the game, like, for a long time. Like, I remember I was in eighth grade when we went to Nigeria yeah. uh, for, like, winter break. I'm listening to WizKid, and that's eighth grade. That's 20. Damn. That's, I don't even know what year that was. 20, 20 like, 11, 2012. 2012. Yeah, yeah, like, 2012. yeah, that's around that around that time. So that was, like, 12 years ago. And he's still relevant. Like he was popping back then, and, yeah. like, he's still relevant. Yeah, I think that's more. when he had a song with Chris Brown. I can't think of the name of it, but he had a pop song. That's why. And then, like, you know, when Drake 2016, I think it was 2016, did the one dance with his kid. Yeah. That's when it started, yeah, like, that's when shit was crazy. transforming and transforming. Now I was like, we don't need, like, American artists no more to release music and be popular. Yeah, now y'all number one for sure. Yeah, Joe, you got to pull his car. He swear he's Afrobeat's king. Now they call man. me Afrobeat Henny, bro. We'll tap in. Nah, right, for sure. Who, who calls you? <laughs> The YouTube. Oh, I ain't heard that one yet, but <laughs> respect. <laughs> nah, but where did you start hooping, though? Funny story. My oldest brother, he, uh, I ain't gonna lie. My house was boring as shit. Like, growing up, it was it was boring as hell. It was really nothing to do. My oldest brother, um, he wanted to find out what he wanted to do. Like, if he wanted to play football, he was trying all different type of sports. Yeah. So he bought a basketball goal, but never played it. And, um... I went outside one day and I was just like, shit, fucking let me try. And ever since that one day on the driveway, I just fell in love with it. Okay. okay. When did you realize you was like really cold? Uh, when I started playing like organized basketball, I was playing some some BS. When I started playing organized mm-hmm. basketball, it was like sixth grade. And I like, I was last one picked on a team. Only reason why I made the team is I was tall. Like I was this height for like the longest. Damn. Yep. And, um, <laughs> So they picked they they picked me up like I was five eleven like the eighth grade, six feet in the eighth grade. So they yeah, uh choice. they they picked me up in the sixth grade just because I was tall. Like the I didn't even practice with the team. That's how sad I was. First day of practice, like they practicing, I'm on the side doing mic and drills, fuck fucking it up. <laughs> and and I was happy though because in my mind I'm like I've never received instruction before from like yeah. somebody who knows the game of basketball. So like you know you might see like dang like that's embarrassing. I wasn't embarrassed. I was having the time of my life doing a mic and drill for an hour, five times a week. We got PTSD. <laughs> he started breaking down the stats. He started breaking down the juvenile shit. But, but it was crazy because <laughs> fuck. I got I got so good so quick, like by seventh grade the same team because you know it's sixth grade and then we come seventh grade by seventh grade I was starting. 
Damn. I went from not playing in the sixth grade when, you know, you know like you get a blown out pause and the uh, coach put all the sorry niggas in. I still wouldn't get it. We beat it. I would never forget this. We beat a team 48 to 8. Damn. I didn't play. Coach C. We, yeah, you sad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Coach C, would you, nah, you would have got, got in, bro. He would have got in. He I, I, I ain't going to name drop. He would have been on that bench fucking with him, too. <laughs> We ain't going to do that. Finish your story, j <laughs> But nah, but by that seventh grade, I was I was starting, and I was like mm. one of like the best players on the team. So it, like, it took a year, and I learned, learned real quick, and then just, just kept elevating from there. So they was grooming you to be a center, or you always been groomed to be a PG low? Nah, they was, they was, I played post. I ain't, I ain't come out that post till, till like. What, CP3? 11th grade, for real. Damn. 11th grade is when I, but I was, I wasn't like a post, like a, I was like a Giannis. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to compare myself to I'm Giannis. <laughs> I was like a Giannis in the sense where. You could do like stuff. Perimeter yeah. wise, I'm not out there shooting trades, but if I get the rebound, there's not people looking at me like, right. you asking, you push I'm it, pushing yeah. that. Yeah. I, I initiated the offense because mm -hmm. usually the other center would be on, but I was always fast. Oh, hell so yeah. the other center used to guard me and I just go by him and as soon as somebody Come on, I'm passing ball to shooters. So it was like I was a post player. I didn't shoot threes, but like I could dribble and I could pass and so I you could was, finish. You was a wing on that CP3. Uh, but at CP3, I was a wing. I, that's when I. But by that time, I had already established like a jump. I was shooting jumpers, trays, gotcha. pull ups. Yeah. What other league uh, players was on your team? Back it was then? me, Harry Giles, and Grant Williams. Okay. Damn, so you squad. never played with Theo. Nah, I never played oh, with you. Hey. Harry Giles was high school oh, phenom. Bro. That's it probably one. Nice. I'm not after say, injuries. High school phenom. I'm not gonna say one of that was the best player I've had as a teammate in high school. Man, he was crazy. He was on real. His highlight dominant. tapes on Instagram was legit. When you I saw remember that my first time because I had to leave my uh, my EYBL team to go to CP3 because I was originally with uh, Southern Stampede yeah. and I moved to CP3 and they were like, "Look, if you go to CP3, ain't no coming back." But I ain't like the team, so I'm like, man, I'm just gonna bet on myself. I'm gonna go ahead to this. They didn't really have tryouts, but it was practice to see if they thought you was fit for the yeah. team. So I went there, you know, <laughs> went out there to practice in North Carolina, and you know, we run it. They they told me to go set a screen for uh for Harry. I'm like, set a screen for Harry. I ain't set. I don't. At this point, I, ain't, I, ain't really, I don't really set screens, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm they like, sent you back to your lineage. It was like <laughs> they said, go set a screen for Harry. Harry, so I'm like. I'm a it's coach, so I'm, I'm, I'm a new new environment, so I, I gotta listen. Yeah. So I set a screen for Harry, and nigga came through, snake that bitch. Oh. I told that nigga, look, bro, how many screens you, you, you fucking hit, bro? <laughs> but, no, but no, fuck, that shit was, but that shit was impressive, but he he had MVP that season. We ain't losing. We lost like one or two games. We were regular season champs. Mm. Look it up. We lost on some bullshit to um Jason Tatum's team in the Final Four. Mm. Yeah, that game on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. That's, it was crazy. I remember it, it was tie game, and CP, you know, he coaching his ass off. He like, no matter what we do, we gonna take the last shot of the game. He draw the play up for Harry. Harry went a little early, left hook, hit that motherfucker. They called timeout. We up two with three seconds left. So we all thinking this shit about to go to to, to Jason. Yeah. Everybody in ten is on on Jason. Man, they, they had, I don't even know his name. They had a point guard. He just dribbled like five times down the right side of the court and shot it. And then one of our players contested, and he like double clutched it. It's about half court. And I'm yeah. under the goal, and I'm looking at the trajectory of that whole Damn. shit. I'm like, bro, this motherfucker is cash. <laughs> Number net. Game over. We done. Yeah, bro. That motherfucker got hella, hella million views on YouTube. I bro. know exactly what you're talking about. Next game, they get blasted by the Georgia Stars, bro. Who else was on uh, Jason Tatum team? I think it was just him. Yeah, was Dang him. Yeah. No, he didn't team he would, up. He would. Yeah. He played what? with somebody else in high school, though, too. Another league nigga. But I think they only came together Bro. for a couple of tournaments. And I had, like, a similar role on that team. I used to guard the other team best player, right? Yeah. And, you know, I guard Malik Monk. He was cold. cold. Malik, Malik Monk was cold. Elite. Malik Monk, I think he might have played <coughs> with him. Nah, Malik Monk was Arkansas. Yeah, yeah. I know, Arkansas but I think, wing. damn, I can't think who Jason played but with. But Jason was probably, like, the only player at that age where I would say, like, his footwork was so ahead of. Damn. Like he, he would post up mid post, got the I 
I'm like, bro, I don't know which way this nigga about to go. <laughs> yeah, he would he would cold in high school. I think sure. he was dolly on his uh, St. Louis team. Y'all played the St. Louis. Yeah, squad, St. Louis. Yeah, yeah. yeah, St. Louis Eagles. Eagles. Yeah. That's what it was called. Y'all yeah. think uh, he was the best player you played this summer? Uh, in uh, AAU. Yeah, most Damn. advanced. I respect that. Probably the most advanced player. I'm trying to think who else was on that circuit. Bro, Miles Bridges is pretty good too, though. Yeah, yeah. That that he was just bigger and stronger than everybody when we was younger. Like athletic he, as hell. He just move out the Bully. way. You can't do nothing. Yeah, he was cold. Yeah. Like I said, uh, Malik Monk was cold. Facts. That nigga had so much bounce. He did. His high school mixtape is a sleeper too. It is all just going crazy. Straight. High school Smith. He was J.R. Smith in high school. Well, no, still is, damn sure. For sure. Yeah, that's a great NBA comparison. It is. Yeah. So, but obviously you was killing in high school and got time to make some college decisions. We know you went to Georgia Tech, but if you didn't, what was the school that almost got you? Uh, Tennessee. Mm. You and Grant? We actually went on our visit together. Oh, man. But, uh... You could you could tell they love Grant a little more than they love everybody. Else. It was like it was like it was like it was like four of us. It was like four of us. We all went together. Like that was like uh, Rick Barnes' first recruiting class at Tennessee. Okay. So he was like, you know, he wanted to get like a recruiting class, be like the face of his you know program, whatever. So it was me, Grant, this dude named Jordan Bone, who actually ended up going there, and I remember uh, him. a dude named. Ariante Jenkins. He actually went to VCU. So we all went there, and I was just like, man, they showed so much love. I That's one thing that I never really felt was like that college feel. Yeah. Like Tennessee would give you that. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, I, and, I, and I love that part, and I love it one far from, you know, the crib. It was like a two, two and a half, three-hour drive. Um, but then when I went to Georgia Tech, it, I, I didn't want to go. Hmm. They were wearing Russell. Facts. Oh, Why crazy. do they? Oh, that's somebody the, went to Georgia the owner Tech. Russell, I think. Yeah, he, Georgia Tech alum. Yeah, he <clears throat> Georgia Tech alum. So they had Russell, hard ass classes. You know, not, growing up being an adult now, I'm like that shit didn't matter. But when you a little kid, you know, you're not trying to take all those hard ass no. classes that he got over there. Yeah, facts. Now I was just like, huh, damn. But then when I thought about it, I'm like, they they were graduating like seven seniors. And then I'm like, damn, I'm gonna have a chance to play as a freshman. Start, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Then I play in, then I'm playing Duke, UNC, <clears throat> you know, Miami, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Louisville. Syracuse, Louisville, all these know. schools. I'm like, if I have two good games against these motherfuckers, I don't be straight. Fact. That's how I'm thinking. Yeah. So I'm like, man, fuck the classes, fuck the Russell. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> fuck, fuck the Russell. Fuck the Russell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nothing on wearing Russell, but <laughs> but we but they said, you know, they sold us, they're like, you but you can still wear Nike shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can over-exaggerate. Nah, 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 but the team bro. gear's crazy with the team arm, gear. bro. That's it's nasty. It's team gear. Like, it was, it was yeah. baggy. Like, it didn't <laughs> it it fit at all. Like, bro, so you was, was already fashionable by the time. <laughs> nah, you I didn't care. I just wanted a hoop. Yeah. But, but, you know, you a kid. You still want to wear, like, Nike. You see that's sell that, for Adidas. So you ain't got no Nike techs. They got see, he got spoiled. His ass was in the EYBL. Oh, yeah, he had that shit playing with TP3. But TP3 was different, though, because we used to get all the EYBL shit. Yeah. Jordan shit, shit too. Oh, that shit was love. Every practice. So you went from that to Russell. Russell. Yeah, Ain't that a damn shit. He playing, he playing, dude. Them niggas got dry fit. <laughs> he I, got a Russell. But I'm really mad though, because all I get is red. Like our team color was red. So everything we had was red. Yeah. So I kind of, I kind of, uh, the gym one time, all red on. I'm thinking I'm stunting. My coach was like, take that shit off. I'm like, pause. And I was like, I'm like, what you mean? He was like, you know, our rivals are Georgia. We don't wear red on campus. Yeah. That's my whole closet is red. <laughs> but either I'm wearing some nice red shit, or I got the, back of the, the, the bullshit that I had in high school. So I'm like, bro. So I just had to rock with the Russell. And, it, and then they were stingy with the Russell gear. That's oh, what I had oh, yeah, plug you with the Russell. Georgia Tech don't even plug you with the Russell. If you go, hey, if we go with the Russell, bro, I put this on everything, bro. If we go wear a Russell, you got to flood us with Russell, man. Bro, you was too small. You begging for Russell, like, yo, can I please get some extra compression shorts? Come on. You don't even get enough compression shorts. I know I got no chance with the shirts and the sweats. I just want some extra socks, coach. Oh, and the equipment manager. It was bad. 
Shout out to Georgia Tech. Man. I mean, they Adidas now, so I can talk all the shit I want. Oh, yeah. All they Adidas. So yeah, I'm about Adidas to say that Russell the year shit is I crazy. Left, the year I left, uh, the next year there was they were Adidas. You made the best college choice because the SEC wasn't really cracking back then. And also, mm-hmm. uh, Tennessee, they had like hella sophomores, hella juniors when I was going in. So I was mm-hmm. like... I'm all about competition. You know, I love to compete, but mm-hmm. I'd rather go somewhere else where the odds are more in my favor. Right. And as soon as I yeah. got there, it was like, I was rolling. So it was, it was yeah, like you said, it was the best best decision. No, for sure, bro. Shout out to Russell. Yeah. Shout out to Russell. <laughs> and the ACC was the best conference of basketball by far at that point. Yeah. But I got to ask close. you, how was it like playing in, in Cameron Indoor? Like, how was it like playing in, what's, what's the UNC shit? Uh, it's not the Dean Dome, is it? Yeah, it's the Dean Dome. Yeah. Like, how was it playing in them, like, historic places? Because, like, you don't get that everywhere in college basketball. Okay, so Cameron Indoor and the Dean Dome are two hostile environments, but I'd rather play. Let me, let me, let me not say that, well, I'd rather play, because I, I don't, I don't really, it really doesn't matter to me, but Dean Dome was less hostile. Facts. Mm. And why I say that is, like, like Cameron club. Indoor has, you can, it holds 3,000 people. You taking that ball out of bounds, they, oh, uh, they scratching your neck. Like, you. That's you, crazy. Like, I'm, bro, it's, it's the crazy, The floor bro. bounce. Floor, like, it's, it's loud as, because it's small. It's not, I mean, it's popular, but it's not as big as you might think, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't realize that until I got older. Like, seeing it on TV, I'm like, damn. And I got older, I was like, damn, that's a little, that's it, it's, small. It's, it's small very people. small. But the, like locker, the guest camp. locker room, everything, it's like yeah. AAU. Yeah. Damn. But then Cameron, I'm mean not Cameron, the Dean Dome is huge. Ooh. So it's like, they're yelling and they loud as hell, but they like back there. Mm-hmm. Like you're not even worried about them for real. Like they even... yell, is like echo. It's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, I ain't it was still hot, it's still yeah. loud, but it's just like over there. Yeah. Yeah. But like, it's like you feeling like they're right behind the bench. Like they are right behind the bench. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. And then the team, the teams that both of, they had, that they had at the time mm-hmm. made it worse too. Because when I played, because I didn't play in the Dean Dome to my sophomore year. And I played, um, and I played in Cameron Indoor my, my uh, rookie year, or my freshman year. But my freshman year, they had, <laughs> boy, we got smacked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but it's they, had, to <laughs> they had Frank Jackson, Grayson Allen on one wing shooting. Coming, they used, we ran floppy. Yeah. Grayson Allen coming off one way. Luke Kennard coming the other way. Oh, yeah, Harry Giles sent one screen. Great uh, Jason Tatum. Then they got Emil Jefferson, who's 24. Bro, yeah. I, went, I was 17 <laughs> in, in, in college. Shout out to Emil. Emil, Emil, is. Now, Emil. I actually ended up meeting him. Emil, cool yeah. as fuck. But he was 24. Facts. I just turned 25. He had hella Kobe years. Facts. Man, I, I played with Emil. Yeah, before was a thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro. But they, man, they were really good, bro. And we got like we got smacked by. I, I remember I put on my Instagram because we was on ESPN. I'm like, yo, tune in ESPN. I deleted that shit at halftime, bro. I, had, I snuck my phone and deleted that tune in shit at halftime. I didn't delete his story at halftime. I'm like, man, whoever I didn't see this shit, I'm turning, I'm turning this shit off, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. And, 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 and the thing is, we had a good game, but it was just like that was a pro team. It was like we would hit a two. They hit a three. We turn the ball over. They hit a three. We shoot a free throw. One for two. They hit a three. They scored. <laughs> they scored three to nine, and we ain't really do nothing bad. And that's how the whole game. But they scored. I think they scored hundred point, hundred points, bro. In Damn. college, it's cool. That's they, crazy. Now, now it's like whatever. But back then, bro, nah, that was a lot. Bitch, bro. That's a lot now, bro. In college, bro, that's a lot now, my nigga. Yeah, I got to see the. If I can get the, I, I don't remember what the Louise. score was. Yeah. It was a hundred. Oh, don't worry. Yeah, it, was it was a hundred. We swore like we was like fifty, fifty something hundred. <laughs> what you it had? Was, what you had? I don't matter. remember, bro. I think I had like, well, like I don't, I don't think That's I had more like, than fifteen. Something like. Okay. But you know when you get beat by that bad, like stats don't even matter, bro. Yeah, at shit all. Don't matter what you. Like, I could have had thirty. This shit don't, nigga. This shit don't matter. Trust me. I got beat like that the other day. <laughs> Tell us more. <laughs> Don't we worry about it. We scored two <laughs> points in the first quarter. Nah, real shit. Yeah. This high school team. <laughs> this true story. Pray for Pike. How do you balance that, though? It wasn't no balance. It was like... I uh, said, how you balance, like, the coaching? Like, how did... Because I, I seen somewhere, like, a couple years ago, it said that you you, you coaching yeah. high school. I was like, damn, I can't pic- picture Teague as a coach with, like, kids, bro. Funny. <laughs> Comical. Jokes. That's but I know T, but you know, T, I feel like he a real, like, I feel like I know he a real good nigga. So I know like he out there trying to make a difference in the kid's life, but I just couldn't, can't see, I can't see it though. 
Yeah. I'm trying as hard as It bro. ain't nothing to see. <laughs> trying as hard I promise bro. you it ain't. I but now my nigga ain't losing his hair, man. Now I'm almost, a word. We man. ain't that bad, but we bad. <laughs> I but we'll be all right. Speaking of coaching, hey, Big Three, what's up, man? I don't know why they put that out there like that. <laughs> Yeah, they just dropped that. <laughs> yeah, they said, let me warm up a little bit nah, first, man. At the yeah. press conference. Nah, I'm like, damn, why they do me like that, Q? But nah, what, team, what team you going to be on? I don't know. I get to pick my team a little bit. I'm trying to call Paul Millsap. Answer my call, Paul. Damn, Paul. I need, I need some uh, yeah. Hawks connections. Man, Paul's like, so cold. Cold, ain't he? Man, I, he the first guy. Because, you know, you know, I live in Atlanta in the offseason. And so does he. He the first guy I ever seen dominate open run with barely shooting. Yeah, he different. Damn. You know, in, in the summer, that's when you get your rocks. That's when you go crazy. You yeah. shoot all the shots you ain't get to shoot in the season. Oh, yeah, mixed time. See, you gonna see that in the summer. Fact. He ain't he ain't do all that, bro. He uh, posting spin move, uh, shoot it, like, uh, doing all this, setting screens, rolling. Like, doing, we like, bro, I've never seen no shit like that in my life, bro. Nah, that nigga's and pick cold. Up, nah. That nigga's cold. That's crazy. And then when he do shoot, it's a bucket for sure. Facts. Yeah. It's cold. One of the coders. Shout out to Ben Simmons. His mixtapes in the summer be crazy. Bro. I'm not getting into that. Bro. <laughs> Goated. Bro. <laughs> Goated. Every summer I see Ben Simmons I'm trying to hit it. threes, and I'm like, yes, I'm let the it. propaganda <laughs> begin, because we're not going to see any of that shit for the next nine months. Goated. Facts. He's not going to even play. <laughs> but, I do, I, what, I, what, what I will say about Ben Simmons, though, <laughs> I think he be trying, though, like, to get healthy. I feel nah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, like, I seen him. I ran into him in the gym. He, like, and we worked out, we work out like an hour increments. So like when I come in the gym, it's like the like the last 15 minutes of somebody else work out. Yeah. We came in to work out at the same time. I'm thinking I'm about to work out with this nigga. Nah, he spent that hour like on the table, like just getting ready for his workout after mine. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, damn, like two things. Either he his shit really fucked up or like he really trying to get back, bro. So shout out to him for trying. I ain't gonna get it all the other stuff. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I know how that shit is as a player. Bro. Nah, nah, it's bullshit. Sure. Cause realistically, you can tell like he not faking, and that's the thing I don't like about. It. I mean, say what you want to about the situation, but you can tell that nigga not faking. And when it comes to certain stuff like back injuries and stuff like yeah. that, oh, that's man. like really severe. Like, like you should look with Steve with Steve Kerr and like Phil Jackson. Niggas couldn't even sit in the chair and coach, bro. You want yeah, somebody to go hoop? They couldn't. Yeah, he had to take time off, bro. Yeah, and he's yeah, not bro. even hooping. Come on. Nah, back is crazy. Back, yeah, Bloody, yeah, like, back injuries. Yeah, back injuries could be tough. But I'm just saying, him <laughs> shooting jumpers and shit. Like, I was like, you ain't gonna shoot no jumpers in real Ever. life. But nah, shout out to him. I hope he get healthy. Josh I was a fan. No double teaming. Nah, let's talk about like how you came about like entering the draft. Like why you cut out early. Shit, it was time to go. <laughs> like, who oh, made that decision? Oh, like oh, shit. Now, I had ran into some, uh, it's, too, it's too long of a story to, 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 to tell right now, but I ran into some trouble in college. Okay. Okay. And um, I ain't like the way the school handled that at all. Like, I feel like I got thrown under the bus. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I take my part in what I did. At the end of the day, I did it. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. you know, they came to me and they were like, you know, let's walk you through it so we can, you know, find the best way to go about this. So it helps you, it helps the school. Man, I told them everything, and they just, it, it's like I was talking to the NCAA myself. They just, damn, just, shit mm. backfire, yeah. And then, like, I ended up getting suspended, like, the first six games of my sophomore year. And then I ended up getting hurt in the exhibition game. I, I dislocated my finger, and the bone came out the skin. Damn. So that actually made me miss the first eight games of the, my sophomore season. So when I came back, I came back mad, just like, you know what? I ain't come back to this school next year. Mm. And that's how I was just blocked. I'm, I'm just going to play like I don't want to come back. And then after uh, my season, I'm like, bro. Because my name entering the, se- entering the year, because I did the USA uh, under 18 team. Yeah, like after my, yeah, after my uh, freshman year, I got invited to that. So then after I did that, my name was on the, you know, in the, in the, the, the boards and stuff. Mm-hmm. So right. going into my second year, I'm looking. I'm 23. Supposed to be going to Utah or something. I think it was 23 to Utah. So, like, every day I'm in the gym, I'm like, one extra rep. I was a head ass like that. Like, if I got five line drills, I'm going to do six. If I got oh, my this, mama, I'm going to do him. seven. <laughs> that's him, that's him. You know what I'm saying? I was, yeah. I was, I was, I was locked you in You tapped like in. That. Yeah, so, so, and then after, that was before I went through what I went through. And then right when that st- stuff happened, I was like, yeah, my name was off. It's, I feel like they wiped my name off the surface of the planet. Like, you couldn't yeah. find my name on the, none. And not that I was looking at it as, like, 
oh, if it's not there, it ain't going to happen. But it's still good to see your name every once in a while on the, on the board. So I stopped looking at the boards, and I'm, I'm just going to put my head down, work. And that's what I did my sophomore year. And then after the season, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get up, get up out of here. Damn. How was your draft process like? Did you work up for, obviously, you know what I'm saying, probably working for a lot of teams. Was there a different team you thought you was probably going to end up with? Nah, see, what happened was I had I had a great draft process. I actually, I, I, I was hooping in every every single one that I was in. The only one I didn't hoop in was Atlanta. I didn't hoop in Atlanta at all. I, I, Are you going to try and be a hawk? Is nah, that where you wanted to go, though? Man. I know you did. And they had pick 19. I went 20. They told mm. me to go back to school. Damn. Damn, they, for real? Yeah, they told me to go back to school. They, said, yeah, they, they was like, what's the rush? You still got two years. Damn. Two years left. You would have thought they would have been familiar with you being in, you know what I'm saying, yeah, that close bro, proximity. But I, but I bombed, I ain't gonna lie, I bombed the shit out of that workout. Nah. Uh, they had us there at 8 in the morning, but the workout didn't start till like 11. Damn, who was the gym there? Was it, uh... <clears throat> I can't tell you. I ain't know nobody. I know who it was. Was it solo workout too? Nah, it was still six people. Damn. It was six people. We did all that, that, that testing, testing, and we just chilled, had breakfast. Damn, we worked out. But that time, I'm just like, I've been in the gym four hours and ain't touched no basketball. Well, I don't you know, know if they did that. They probably did that on That's purpose. That's the setup, man. Yeah. I got to see if you come in focused, man, if you can keep your mind right while they got That's all that shit that going up, on. That, what does that translate to, though? Like, at what, in, in during the season, at what point will you be in a gym for four hours without touching basketball and then just go out there and go hoop? <laughs> they just try to mental, mentally break you. Mm hmm. And that's so crazy because, like, like CJ Stroud, when they were talking about him and his poor testing and stuff, who gives a fuck about a test if you can do your job right? Yeah, I it, I seen that, too. I like the testing. Yeah. I like what he said, though. Like, I don't do tests. I, I play football. Yeah. Well, Facts. What are we doing? He Facts. proved that shit. He did. But <clears throat> show, nah, oh, my show, goodness. Show. Nah, for real. He's, and he had <clears throat> swag doing it. And he felt, he, uh, it, like, his poise was like he been doing this for a minute. Facts. At the NFL level. That's Dog, what I like about he it. He took over a franchise. And low-key, I mean, we got to see what's up with A. Rich. I think Anthony Rich is going to come back solid. But he low-key took over a division because before this year, they was all talking about Trevor Lawrence. Yeah. We ain't heard Trevor Lawrence's name since. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. I mean, Georgia Tech got a new coach. Damon Stoudemire, how you feel about the pickup? I feel good, man, because the thing about tech, right, and I've talked to Damon, too. I, you know, I've seen him this summer when I was in the gym hooping. Um, I've also obviously seen him in the league when he used to coach with the Celtics. Um, <clears throat> Georgia Tech need a, need a coach, and I'm pretty sure his X's and O's are, you know, what they are. I'm not, I'm not even talking about his X's and O's. They just need a coach that got some pool. Yeah, that know people. You know what I'm saying? It's not like our school's already hard to get in. It's hard to right. stay in. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's kids don't kids like like I said, I I dealt with that shit too. I know how it is as a kid. Like man, I gotta I do this work. And I was always a good student. Like my GPA was high in school. I was always smart. But just having to like man, I gotta put. You just want to hoop as a kid. I don't want to mm -hmm. have to go to class and do this essay and it'd be hard as hell. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, but if I know I'm gonna play for a coach who Got some league connects who who cool, who been in cool. my shoes, played in the league, did all that stuff. I'm like, I might be able to be like, uh, okay, I'm going to have to, I'm going to deal with the, with the school stuff because yeah. I, can, I can play for that coach. I mean, we ain't had that type of coach in a long time. That's right? real. Yeah. And like you said, if you, now you got to do this now, it's different when you go to a college and you either got that big brand pool or you got it from the coach that's got the connections. Yeah. You went there, you had, you had a coach who didn't make I had all the resources, and it was Russell. So you really made that shit work. And he know, like, he's been around the league for a long time, so he know what, like, league-level stuff look like. Like, our lounges and our and our stuff, at our facility, it ain't, like, that's the first thing he's saying. Like, man, that's what y'all shit look like. <laughs> I'll go there now. It's, it shit looks nice. Like, Damn. he he broke all that shit down. Like, he broke all that shit down. He put new shit up there. Like, the lounges look good. The shit actually got snacks. Like, when I was in college, like, I knew when we had a re re recruiting town, there was snacks in the lounge. <laughs> Damn. Like, you go there, some power raids, yeah. like, oh, yeah, who in town today? We got power raids. <laughs> man, that was the delicacy of Georgia Tech. That was, that that was, Wake, that was Wake Forest, too. That was what Wake was on, too? Yeah, that was on that, Man, too. I'm like, oh, we got power raids today. Oh, yeah, we got a recruiting town. Them shits lasted two days. <laughs> they need to destroy that drink. That's probably the worst sports I, know, I had a ever. good power rate the other day. That shit was, that shit was pretty good, bro. Hell, you got power raids in my crib. That's all fucking pipe. Serve at them damn basketball games. That <laughs> might be an old nigga. Do y'all remember All Sports? The drink? Yeah, that was trash, too. Nah, damn, you ain't fuck All Sports? All Sports was solid. I ain't tapped in with them. I used to be a thing, but that's, those was trash. Damn, whacked. 
So Thanks. going through that draft process, making it to the league, you know, played in Minnesota. I was there with your rookie year. Like, what's the best part about being an NBA player? Like, fuck all the other shit. Like, you living your dream out. But what's the best part of it? Uh, I feel like the best part for me, because I'm big on community, the best part for me is seeing the influence you have mm -hmm. on people. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's funny that you're a high school coach. That's what I want to do when I'm done playing, to be okay, a high school coach. Because cool. it's like, I know, like, kids, man, they they face a lot of problems these days. And, you know, a lot of them don't even be their fault. You know, they're kids. But mm -hmm. one bad decision can change the course of their life. Facts. And, you know, I was, one time I told this kid, I was like, bro, bro, don't do that. He's still taking it today, bro. I'm so glad that you told me not to do that. Like, then I'm like, damn, I don't even, I didn't even think it meant, like, it meant yeah, that yeah, much yeah, to yeah. him. You know what I'm saying? But seeing it had a positive impact on somebody and not saying that he would be in a bad position now if he did do it, but, like, just seeing that, like, that, that for me, that's the best part about being in the league. Yeah. That's, that's the different. worst part. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part about being in the league, I would say is, like, people don't think you human. Yeah, they yeah. treat you like a... Like, yeah, if, I, if I go, like, I play video games. If I go stream, first thing they're going to say on the stream is, you ain't shooting threes. Why are you, <laughs> why are you playing video <laughs> games? You should be in a gym. I'm like, it don't work like that. Like, this shit don't work like that. You know Everybody got work ass, nigga. Uh, it don't work like that. Like, bro, I seen you talked about, I seen one of y'all uh, podcasts, you told somebody, man, go to, like, go to sleep. Yeah, like, bro, like, go get through so much your like, life. Man, I don't sleep. I work out being in the gym. I be... <laughs> <laughs> I think, and I think, you know, obviously people look at, you know, when everybody think about like working hard, the first person to come to your mind is like Kobe and the mama facts, mentality, facts. you know what I'm saying? But I think there's a big difference between not working hard and being in the gym all, like there's a spectrum. Yeah, it is. And just because bro. you're it's not, tears, bro. yeah, just because you're not like, it's because you playing video games don't mean you in the gym. Yeah. yeah. And it's because you in the gym don't mean you don't you can't have a life. Yeah. That's the one thing Derek when my rookie Derek Rose told me this. He was like, he was like the legend. I, I asked him, I'm like, yo, what's your biggest regret in basketball? And he told me, he was like, my biggest regret is when I was, you know, coming up, I didn't give times to a lot of things that mattered in my life. Like I was so involved in like if my if my if my people going to like a concert, I wouldn't go because I want to go to the gym. Or if I wanted to do this, I wouldn't go because I want to go to the gym. But then you go, you fast forward 10 years and all your homies and your family, they having all these memories. And you were never a part of no memories. That's right. It's because you're in the gym. And yeah, you're getting better. But just I could have missed that and still did the gym. I mean, I could have went to the events mm -hmm. and still went to the gym. But I was just focused on thinking that if I did do the concert, if I did do that, it would take away from basketball. And that was never the case. Yeah. That's what he told me. Because I ain't miss a concert, God <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I was at every concert at motherfucking State for Arena. Where it was called Phillips Arena back there? I ain't missed a show. <laughs> I should have been in the gym. <laughs> See? <laughs> but it's a but it's a but, but it's it a come with it though, the... bro. Man, you get your ass on that stream, it's a motherfucker coming. See, man, that's why that nigga missed all them shots. Yeah, that's, that's why he missed all that. That nigga fucked up my parlay because he played two games. Yeah. 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 So oh, oh, oh. You, know. you got out at the right time, <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro. No, no, no these nah. niggas with the parlays now, bro. <laughs> no, nah, he bro, did. Them niggas boo me in uh, Milwaukee because I grabbed a rebound from Bobby Portis. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking they start chanting Bobby, Bobby. I'm looking like they like, dang, you fucked it up. You fucked it up. Like, what I fuck up? Dang, I got man. two rebounds. Man, now that that banner is illegal in so many more states, bro. I mean, I'll get, I'll get, I'll, I'll tell you a story. I ain't gonna tell you what, what teammate, bro. One of my teammates, the nigga got in at the end of the game, scores four straight. He, he was probably in the game for like, I don't know. A minute, scored four points, got to it. He I got a DM, and he and he barely played. I know who it is. He got he got a DM. He was like, <laughs> "Why did you score?" <laughs> they 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 went. He said, and they, and they told it, no cap. They DM the they're like, "Why did you score? You're the reason why I'm still racist." <laughs> <laughs> 
When niggas don't score, it's a problem. When niggas score, it's no, a problem. You said this is crazy, though. No, because no, 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 no. I guess he fucked up the spread or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. But, exactly. Yeah, I know, I know, but my, that's what I'm saying, though. He went in the game, and he did his thing. He did his job. He did his thing. But he did his thing. 100% from the field. Shout out, shout out, shout out to that something. black man. But he is fucking up. That person that said that to him, fuck them. But... Bro, I told Yo him man's post that shit on Instagram. Them four, points, them four points he needed his ass whooped from scoring the four <laughs> points. Because he probably fucked up a lot of points. Like, he did. The point of the but that's what I'm saying. Points, but bro. he looking at like, look, <laughs> well, when you at that type, like, I'm, I ain't going to say that type of play, but when you, but when you a player who don't play a lot, every minute you play counts. is precious. It's because if you get four points, coach might be like, okay, it might you might get like four minutes of garbage time next time. You score 10 points. Then niggas might, knock on wood, it might be a situation when a lot of people aren't playing and coach like, okay, he has scored them four points, he scored them 10 points, people ain't playing. Coach put a little bit, has a little bit of trust, throw him out there, maybe coming off the bench. Mm-hmm. Now he going crazy, but that started because of that game he had four points. No, but, Joe, look. Uh, I know I'm, I'm totally on your side. I, I, I know, the parlay, so I know, man. I know, That's your yeah, points, like, man. But the, the, the y'all gotta understand bro. why niggas be tight. Niggas yeah. be on edge, and Don't that's why bet. niggas be thinking the shit is red, because it's like... The script. Y'all didn't even think about putting this nigga in the yeah, game. Bro, this nigga tell. in the game to score four points. But tell. also, if you do parlays, use DraftKings. That's fair. That's fair. Man, shout man. out to, shout out niggas, to niggas bet on me all the time. Bro, the look, crown I be telling is my yours, niggas, man. I say, look, if y'all bet <laughs> on me, do not let me know, bro, because they be trying to tell me, J.O., that three you missed in the third quarter, I'm like, bro, don't tell me about no, I don't want to hear no bets. <laughs> don't come to me about no advice. Yo, but what's your usual though, bro? Are you plus, t- what? What I tell are you? Look, bet the under. <laughs> <laughs> so I can have a good game in this bitch. Bet the under. Hey, nah, nah, nah. Should be like my boy LSU. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my up. What he do? Bitch, up. what he do? Oh, oh my God. I'm going to get his name gosh. right. I'm going to fuck his name up. He was betting on himself? It. Yes, bro. Oh, he wow. He went, bro, he got, he went, he, he, he got he like went up six, half a meal, bro. Like six, Hundred K earners, bro. What? <laughs> they just—they just caught his ass and arrested him. They just caught it. He I got know, arrested, I, bro. bro I, I downloaded FanDuel. No, he played football. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, he played football, and he played with the Patriots. They caught him after he. They caught him done. after, bro. He Man. was up five hundred bands, bro. That's that crazy. Stuff. But I watch football all the time, so I'm like, I'm about to start betting on this shit in this football. I downloaded FanDuel, made an account. The next day, they suspended my account. And said, "We gotta verify. Send a picture with your name or your ID and the date." I'm like, but I ain't finna send FanDuel a selfie, bro. <laughs> so I'm like, bro. Shit went with DraftKings. That's why I ain't even. Mm. That's why I'm probably gonna do DraftKings. You gotta now. use the burner account. <laughs> no, nah. don't do that. No, nah, just don't bet at all. Yeah, don't <laughs> bet. That's why I don't bet. Nah, yeah, for real, because like, because don't bet. I don't, I don't working bet. for the Pacers, they do a monthly thing. They send your name through a database, and if your shit come up, it is non-negotiable. We don't give a fuck what it is. You out the door. So even, even I know you, for y'all. So even if you bet on like football, if you want. Now you can do other sports. You just can't do M- anything NBA related. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's that's, that's across the board. You can't yeah. bet on NBA, WNBA, WNBA G, League, G League. You can't bet on 2K. WNBA. Huh? Mm-hmm. Shout out. No, you can't. NBA, WNBA, Two K League, NBA. <laughs> and it's one more. It's something that's that's fucking crazy. Oh, the, the Basketball Africa League. Oh, okay. I think yeah, that yeah. whatever the NBA owns, you can't. Yeah, bet I, could, on. I couldn't get on J Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Take the under. <laughs> J Cole, the real one to do it. We didn't put him in the conversation. That nigga was over there sixteen games and came back home. Facts. No, I ain't gonna lie, but that's but you gotta love basketball to go to Africa to go hoop when you come to the United States. <laughs> And I'm, and, so, no, you I'm can't not, say that. You can't say that. You can't say that. I can say it because I've hooped yeah, in Africa. I've been there, bro, and I've hooped. I've hooped and I've hooped in Africa, bro. What's you know it what like saying? to hoop in Africa, bro? I kid you not. So, <laughs> bro, bro, see y'all making this sound. Like, no, no. Y'all making this sound. Like I wasn't even trying to make it, bro. I'm trying to tell you the conditions, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. No, 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 listen, no, listen, listen, listen. Listen, bro. You know what? You know what, Josh? Fuck that. <laughs> Take your black ass back to Nigeria when you done hooping and coach, coach high school basketball over there. No, what I'm saying, no. What, this is what I am saying, bro. This is what I'm saying. Because y'all are trying to. Y'all, 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 y'all. The conditions, bro. bro what's the listen, conditions, bro? I'm saying the conditions. Like, ba- I'm not saying nothing other than basketball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'll give you a perfect example. Hello. We had like an Olympic qualifying qualifying tournament in Nigeria, right? Mm-hmm. So they set up the court in a convention center. 
Mm-hmm. And they That's put fair. hardwood on carpet. They did that here before. Yeah, hey, we had it. But, but like, that, that's but, crazy. okay, but this is to get to the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> this shit, you feel that? That shit want to get to the damn Olympics. Bro. <laughs> but y'all got a different type of build, bro. Some bro. of the strongest people come from your homeland. A bro. thousand percent, bro. So that's and probably... I feel like if we are able, and that's why I love what, you know, what the NBA is doing, investing in Africa with the Basketball right. Africa League. Because yeah. I feel like if you can get, like, there's a lot of players in Africa who, if given a fair chance, but if the conditions we have here, if you take that over there, yeah. but it's going to be in B's, Giannis's every year. Yeah, so every year, bro. I, I, kid, I kid you not. But it's just, it's just so. And, and basketball is not really like a fan favorite over there. You know, soccer. Yeah, soccer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. King. So because it's not, you're not going to see a lot of people putting their money into development in basketball. No, no, facts, facts. That's why you seen that one kid. I know he went viral. He be working out like he, yeah, he got like the tires and like the water, yeah, water shit, jugs, squad, and he yeah. be going crazy working out. Cause like there's nowhere else to go to. Damn. To do that stuff. That's why I said for J. Cole to leave America, and go, to go to Africa, and he go play hoops. over there, that means he really loves basketball. Yeah. Because you're not playing kid. over there if you don't love it. That's a fact. Yeah, that's that's a, what I was trying to say. He was making sacrifice. No, it was funny how you said it. It though. was funny how it was I was funny said that, like, look, nigga, he should be better because Master P was in the G League. Shit. Yeah, that's he, true. He did. That's true. <laughs> Y'all crazy, man. <laughs> Y'all we gotta talk about sure. it though. You you talked about it, man. Obviously, with you, your current team now, y'all going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all at full strength, looking scary. How was it last year? You was on that team, and then you realized, oh shit, we about to get KD. <laughs> I remember where I was, but I can't tell y'all. Uh, I can't say it, but I was allegations. I was like, you know, it's Atlanta, so I'm home. I'm I'm in Atlanta. Oh, uh, he was at Magic. I, uh, nah, <laughs> Living Pepper Shot. Oh, I was not at Magic City, bro. <laughs> he was at Magic. But no, nah, I was not at Magic. I was, but I was, I was chilling because you know all my homies. I'm chilling with the homies and, and stuff. Definitely. And and bro, my phone and trades ain't supposed to happen that late. But that shit was the oh, latest yeah. trade. <laughs> Josh, 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 First of all, my, that, was the, that was the trade deadline day was in Atlanta. Mm. So my agent called me three hours before. Uh, we had, because we had like a team dinner that night in Atlanta. Mm. The whole team was the whole team was there for dinner. Niggas were scary as, scary as motherfuckers. <laughs> so I'm at, we had dinner. My agent called me during dinner. I'm like, I'm like I'll be right back, y'all. <laughs> scared, as scared as a motherfucker. <laughs> what? I go to the bathroom. I'm like, hello? He's like... I just want to make sure you're okay. I'm like, bro, do not, bro, do not call me no more, bro, until after the deadline, bro. What? So then I go back to dinner, do my thing, you know what I'm saying? And you know, my it was like the open dinner where, like, you know, you can invite like your home set. We the homies chilling, and Trey happened, and I'm like, bro, what? And that's like I said, all all that popped up was Phoenix Suns acquired Kevin Durant. So I'm like, who did the other team acquire? So then I call my agent, make sure I'm still straight. He was like, "Yeah, you still, you still there for now." I mean, I, we on. You know, sometimes other stuff happen under that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I'm like, "Okay, all right, cool." So we uh, so we he- we heard that Mikael and uh, uh, Cam and um, and um, Mikael, Cam and Jay Crowder. Mm-hmm. You know, he um, he was part of that trade and like some picks or whatever. And it was so sad because like. If you know anything about Phoenix basketball, you can't say Phoenix basketball without like Mikael and, and Cam. They, they call them the twins. They, they still call them twins. Like them, them, you know, the epitome mm-hmm. of Phoenix basketball. Mm-hmm. So we was at the hotel and was, we just had like a one last like kumbaya. And it was all in the hallway, just like joking, laughing, just trying to console them. Cause they were, man, they were, man, they were sick. But shout out to them, cause they hooping right now. Yeah, and, they and, hooping oh, yeah. in, in the Nets over there in, in New York. They but they were so, they were so sad, man. It was sad to see them go. Um, but I told my I told my homeboy I'm like I gotta go to sleep, bro, because I, I, I might be playing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so which is to, which is to work. which is crazy because we actually play we we ain't have nobody playing, bro. Because Dario got traded that morning went mm. to OKC. So and Book at that time was hurt. I think C, that was CP first game back. So it was like it was like eight people playing. 
Oh, that's the best. Right was there. it, bro? I was playing a lot, bro. And I, and I was hooping. I love playing Atlanta. Yeah, you always had, when we was a your rookie, you had a good game in Atlanta. Yeah, like, I, used, I just always loved playing Atlanta just because I just be remembering my draft workout. You'd be like, okay, bet. I told y'all, y'all ain't been niggas are the pettiest people on earth. Y'all, y'all have been it's, from it something. Ain't, it ain't petty. It's just like, it, it's just. It's motivation. Yeah. It, it, it's like anything with life, though. Like, say you go, you working for Deloitte or something, and Deloitte drop you, and then another consultancy agency mm-hmm. hires you, and then. Y'all get the big contract over Deloitte. You gonna be flexing on Deloitte. Oh, for it's, sure. just, it's just a natural. It's just not na- like I don't even know who said that about me. When I, was, I don't <laughs> even remember. It's just something in my mind. I'm Everybody like, gotta pay for it. Yeah, put that chip on your shoulder. Welcome. That's how Gigi Jackson did. Steph Curry did. Hey. Motherfucker. Oh, yeah, <laughs> uninvited yeah, him know. from the camp. Yeah, yeah, oh, that, yeah. He yeah. uninvited him. Yeah. Steph Curry was like, "Shit, we was already full, bro. We had to let some people go." He just was like, "Yeah, it's cool." He, that's why he went crazy. But that ain't gonna lie, that's that's years of plotting right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's years of plotting. Yeah, you really yeah. don't forget. Yeah, You're different. That's funny because even with you, I know certain people used to go at. Even I didn't know that before, but the Reggie Jackson is always funny. Reggie Jackson, bro. <laughs> Anytime I see Reggie nah, Jackson, team, probably one of the funniest teammates I ever had, bro. Well, I rank your funniest teammates, bro. <laughs> it's funny. I tell niggas all the time, bro. You you top three. <laughs> you I top three. That's high. That's high. As and well. I had a. Play Minnesota, you don't have a lot of teammates, gang. Uh, I've had a lot of teammates. I mean, he's a motherfucker fool. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Minnesota too? Mm. Bro, let me tell you let me think, let me tell you the thing about T. He's uh, an instigator, bro. Ah, uh, shit. So, so, tell so, us about so it. Bro, me. we had this. We had, we had, we had this. I had a, we had a teammate. Shout out Jared Bayless. I just ran into Jared, Jared Bayless a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah, Phoenix, Phoenix. Yeah, he is Phoenix. Man, Jared was, first of all, he wasn't even a nat- my natural vet because he got traded to the team at the Jimmy Butler trade. Yeah. He just took up all the vet ownership of the team. <laughs> like, you know, I had a... And, and I when I came in the league, it was like the tail end of the old NBA where, when teams had, like, teams were a lot older. Yeah. Now teams want to go younger. My, when I came in, like, teams were still older. Like, you know, T, that was his 10th year in the league. Uh, I had D Rose, Taj Gibson, Anthony Tolliver. I seen AT yesterday. Anthony Tolliver. Um, who else was on the team? Lou Al Day. Lou Al. Lou Al. Like, like we had. I had an old team. You know what I'm saying? And after me, like the uh, the next youngest guy was Cat and, and Tyus Jones. That's how old our team was. You know what I'm saying? So when we got to the league, it was just me and Kata. And but Kata spent a lot of time in the G League. Mm-hmm. So basically, I was I was the only rookie for like five vets. So it was smooth, and I was a good rookie. I, I didn't have no attitude. T, one time T sent me on a ro- uh, uh, trip. He wanted some uh, some candy Ooh. at 12 in the morning in Cleveland. Mm. CVS <laughs> wasn't open in the city. I had to go to the suburbs. I drove 20 minutes to the suburbs in the Uber to get some candy. The Uber didn't wait on me. Then I had to wait, tw- you know, in the suburbs in Cleveland, I had to wait 20 minutes for the car to get back and then take me back to the city. Oh, okay. Was this regular? But that's so loved, though. We got to tell that Xbox story, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we here now. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to tell, I'm gonna tell but let me finish this story. So Jared Bayless, man, man, he used to just like, he used to just like, do this, so I'm going to popcorn your car. If you don't do this, I'm going to popcorn your car. And I had just got my my, 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 my uh, Red Range Rover. Red Range. Man, I ain't, I ain't want none of <laughs> having that car, bro. So that whatever, was nice, too. Man, whatever they told me to do, bro, I did it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But Teague, sometimes he would be like, <laughs> but Teague, uh, he a good individual at heart. So he wouldn't want to do nothing to me, pause. But he know if Jared going to do something, he going to instigate. So Jared do something. He's like, yo, Jared, <laughs> you ain't going to believe what J.O. just did. <laughs> he would tell all this shit to Jared. And then Jared be like, J.O.? <laughs> oh, that's true. We going to go back on this nigga car. And I mean, that bitch, because I used to talk a lot, right? Yeah. I was like, Going oh, vibrant. Man, man. Man, as soon as they say popcorn in my car, I'll be in that, I'll be in my seat like, don't say a word, the rest of the plane trip. We yeah. all plane trip. I'm over here like this. Man. That nigga bought a book, bro. <laughs> the nigga told, that nigga, that nigga Jared Bayless, he said, he said, Michelle, shout out Michelle Obama. She, she, uh, he said, oh, Michelle Obama's book, but coming. Hey, bro, go get me three, co- uh, five copies. I'm like, the fuck my five copies of the same book. Why did Gerald is be so? Shit. I bought five copies for him. He gave me one copy mm-hmm. back. He said, You got a month to read it. And if you don't read it, I'm going to popcorn your car. That's some bullshit. Oh, God. That nigga was walking around with the game. Before the games, my legs crossed in my locket before the game. Re- niggas listen to music, getting taped. Nigga, I'm reading my book, bro. I'm like, Nigga, why the fuck you reading this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, like, why you reading this shit? He was like, 
Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you this shit? I ain't finna pop on my car. He said, and he said, I, I thought I was, I just got out of school. Nigga said, and after, I'm gonna test you on it. <laughs> nigga, but no cap, nigga gave me a test. The nigga gave me a That's test, bro. What the fuck was your pants on, man? Bro, he, bro, he used shit. to come in his, and he he was suit bro. every game, bro. Suit every game. He was just a professional. He was one of the most professional teammates I ever had. Facts. He was a professional ass motherfucker. Arizona bro. legend. We got respect right. for Jerry. For sure. For he sure. wore a suit to the club with me and I wish Jay Luke was here. He wore a suit to the club with me and Jay Luke when we was about to get beat up by the uh who the people that run up with Minnesota? The African people, uh the Somalians. Uh, oh. Damn. Nigga, they was on our ass. How nigga. the fuck you they get was into 60, them? I didn't. Oh. They were 60 deep. And J O, I mean uh J Luke looked like one of them. Yeah. So they like <laughs> Tony, Tony though. He bro, looked, J. Luke does not look so mild, bro. I, I can't God. wait to they, tell you they, they that shit. did, because they was like, what's up to him? And he ain't say what's up back. Then they look at him like, what the fuck? Like, nigga, you... Nigga, you gang or what? Minnesota, yeah, that nigga like grabbed Minnesota, the bottom. That nigga, Minnesota, that dangerous ass city, yeah, bro. Swear to God, that nigga... Like, like, you might not think it is, but... Oh, 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 okay. That trip in Minnesota is crazy. That nigga, J. Luke, grabbed a Hennessy bottle, nigga. I'm like, well, what the fuck you got going on? Swear to God, Jared Bayless was... Gone, nigga. Slacks. I'm, I'm looking around like, where Jared at? And the Stacey they Adams. got Jared. I'm like, they got Jared. <laughs> so me and uh, Jay Luke that ran out the club. Man, that nigga Jared all the way down the street. Nigga, you see the motherfucking Stacey Adams? <laughs> <laughs> see them Stacey Adams clean out there? Oh, shit. We yelling oh, down the street. Oh, that, that shit, shit was, was funny, bro. Fun. Damn, Jared. But it's the funniest, <clears throat> I think, me and Jeff's story, bro. Mm. <laughs> so I, we pull up to Portland, I think. And we was gone for like... 10 days. It was like a little 10 day road trip. Mm -hmm. So our per diem was looking at, I probably got like, I don't know, 2K, 1500, 2K in per diem. Yeah. And you know, being a rookie, you know, T's always look out like, give me some of the bread for his per diem, D Rose, some of the guys that give me some of the bread for the per diem. So T used to always play his game on the road, but this specific trip, he forgot his game at home. So he said, J.O., Hey man, uh, can you go to the store and can you go give me a, a Xbox and then give me 2K and then give me Madden and I need a controller too. I'm like, bet, I got you. But I didn't have no, I ain't had no issues doing shit like that. And I'm like, all right, bet, I got you, bro. Yeah. He gave me the whole per diem. It's like, like, like I said, like 20, 2000. <laughs> I go to uh, GameStop. So I'm looking at all the different uh, games and I'm like, <laughs> Get that used one right there. <laughs> I said, let me get that used Xbox. But I ain't trying to be cheap, bro. No. I tried to get him. I'm like, no, no, no. I get, you know, I, for no, this too, listen, listen, bro. I'm like, the nigga already got an Xbox at home. <laughs> Fuck does he need a new one so for? You know what I'm saying? He just need one. He just need one for the for the trip. Yeah, that's it. So I, I got the used Xbox. Use but he gave you two. I'm games. not, but he gave you two bands, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Did you get the used games too? I, I can't run it up. I don't no, remember. they was new games. Okay, right. they was new games. Okay, that's cool. So, so I, if it was the funniest shit because the game didn't come in the Xbox box. Hell it no. came in like a GameStop box, <laughs> like a green or a white box. Yeah. So I come, I come to the hotel room. He he say, cause you know Jeff, he like just knock on my door when you're here and you can leave. You don't gotta like give it to him. So I dropped the box and it was open. It had the system, the <laughs> wires. That shit would get us. It had the wires on that shit. <laughs> The controller of the games, I knock on his door, go to my room. Five minutes later, nigga call me. J.O., you gave me a used Xbox, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, you said you just needed something to play on the road. He was like, bro, I gave you two bands. <laughs> He's like, all right, bro. All right, bro. So, so, so that was it, right? The nigga, bro. The nigga, he ain't see, cause he went, he was, he was upset. He wasn't mad, he was upset. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Get on the bus tomorrow. Hey, Jay, man, you can't believe what a nigga Jay did. You knew that shit was coming. You were waiting. You knew that shit was coming. Hey, look, can't even gonna believe what uh, Jay did, man. Man, I gave this nigga two bands. <laughs> All, all that shit he could have said to me. You know what I'm saying? All the mad shit he could have said to me. He waited till we got on the bus where everybody was like, you ain't going to believe, man. This nigga, I gave this nigga two bands. He gave me a used Xbox, used controllers, bro. Uh, and then everybody was like, oh, man, yo, we just going to have to popcorn this nigga car. <laughs> now I'm sad as fucking hand in my coat. I got to go on my shell, bro. I wear an outfit to the game, bro. I wear an outfit to the game. This is when I was trying to put that shit on, but I already, you know, when you first get money, you just buy whatever you think look nice. Right. Nigga, I'm getting, I, this true story. I'm in, a, I'm in the training room, reading my book, getting tape, 
uh, getting, uh, getting my table time. Yeah. Niggas is passing the phone, laughing, <laughs> just, just giggling, looking at me giggling. I'm like, what the fuck these niggas laughing at? <laughs> And him and Tyus, Ty, him and Tyus, bro, them niggas used to, like, they used to play, probably play games on me all the time, try to, like, make me look like the funniest nigga, right? Yeah. So it was Tyus' phone. They were looking at Tyus' phone. They was like, nah, they said, you gonna see what we laughing at. I'm like, but let me see. I grabbed the phone. Nigga, they took my outfit and taped it to the wall. Like, the shirt hanging out up top. The jeans hanging out under the shirt. And then they put the shoes on the bottom. <laughs> And then they put up match the pot. <laughs> they, they put a piece of paper, put match the pot, top of the outfit. So I'm, so I'm like, what the fuck? I put my book down. I walk out. I see, I see, I look out in the locker room. My whole outfit just taped to the fucking wall, bro. And I had to do that. Bro, I'm like, who the fuck did this? They was like, they was like, J.O. And then just J. Luke. Yeah. J. Luke did that shit. J. Luke was like, J.O. I gotta teach a little something, man. That shit trash. Yeah, okay. He like, he like that outfit right there. That's how he talk. That outfit right there, man. That shit trash, man. I'm like, I thought I put that shit on too. Yeah, I'm walking like, slow, coming out the bus. Oh god, I find that outfit. It was like a silk shirt with some eleven lows. It was looking skinny jeans. It was bad. That shit was bad. My nigga, I think grew. Like, he grew into some so far. It's like yeah, that shit, came that, a long that, way. No, that shit was bad though. For real, that shit was bad. Respect with the elevens. And then oh, it, top was it, wild. Up, man, it, it was wild. <laughs> bro, and then to top it all off, T go, oh yeah, and every road trip, this box, you just gonna carry it with you. Yeah. He said, if we go from city to city, because I used to carry my game too. If we go to city to city, take my I'm a, he's like 20, he's like, before you get on the bus, I'm gonna leave my box outside my uh was outside my door. Come pick it up. Then the next city, come drop it off. And we go home, keep it at home. And then when we come out on the road, let's keep this since you want to give me a used Xbox, yeah, just carry it around with you. So I used to have the used Xbox box here. And my Xbox, real, I used to, I used to he be had walking. that nice shit though. Yeah. Uh, he had like a whole system. Man, I used to walk around. You thought I was an equipment manager. But I used to walk around my record. <laughs> that was bad. He my nigga, man. He was always good. And then funny thing, one time one of my homeboys, his Xbox broke. <laughs> He took my shit. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga Xbox broke because I lived with my best friend at the time. You know what I'm saying? My ex, his Xbox broke. He's like, man, my Xbox broke, bro. Do you uh I know you told me about T Xbox. That shit's still in your car. I'm like, bro, that's T Xbox. You can't touch that shit. I'm like, like, bro, I need it. I'm like, all right, bro, come on. You go get it. He got the Xbox. T was at home playing zombies. Yeah. I don't remember what you know about zombies, bro. The, he think it clicked on, bro. But my homeboy logged on that Xbox, shut his whole shit off. <laughs> sort of it was like a random Thursday night. T was like, hey, J.O., you turn my Xbox on? <laughs> I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that shit is in my car, bro. He's like, man, I'm playing zombie, and you locked me out, nigga. <laughs> he, was, he was mad. I don't know what <laughs> level this nigga was on. But he was, I, that's probably the most mad I ever, because he, he, he don't even get mad like yeah. that. That's the most mad oh, I ever shit. seen that nigga, bro. Oh, man. That's oh, nigga, man. That's why. It's a good show, man. Oh, man. Nah, for sure. We appreciate you for sliding, Nasty, for sure. For sure, man. Jay. I appreciate you sliding on us, man. Keep doing your thing. We got to Yo. start going to the championship, man. Facing the Milwaukee Bucks. That was my prediction. That, that's his predictions. But you know for what I'm sure. saying? Shout out to the Suns. Going crazy. Yeah, I get, yeah, get your predictions. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm a Patriots fan. I just want us to do good, bro. That's it. <laughs> I just want us to do good. I'm just having my nigga start an all-star hit. game. What you got? Oh, Jayoski. <laughs> Y'all going down. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. We about to win this motherfucker too much. I like the way we playing right now. Nah, nah for sure. Y'all sure. going to be good, man. I like the way we playing, bro. It just took us a long time to figure it out. It's, we still Niggas figuring it out. Niggas getting hurt and shit, bro. That's part of the season. Yeah, and we yeah. still figuring it out, but I don't like the direction we, we heading. Yeah, if y'all was healthy all the way through, you know what I mean, for sure. But y'all niggas' sure, bones ain't worth a quarter over there, bro. So <laughs> definitely y'all on the under. <laughs> man. See, yeah. he's a par- he with a parlay, niggas. He with a parlay, niggas. Oh, uh, shit. But, man, on that note, we'll get up out of here. Like, share, subscribe. All that good shit. Appreciate y'all walking with us. Yo. Yeah.